episode of Hypnotist Bernie's Exposition. Joining us tonight here is Nicole Cooper. How are you doing, Nicole? Good. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I currently am a preschool teacher and oh, cool. does I do modeling and everything on the side and trying to get signed and all that good stuff. I'm on the verge of actually oh, possibly right. making it. Oh nice. Um so by signing, you mean modeling, right? Yeah, modeling, getting a contract, <laughs> steady <Right>. work, <laughs> not just here and there jobs. Um, tell us, how did you get to this point in your life? A lot of hard work. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of going, go sees, everything right. like that. But, but more like a historical kind of... Um, uh, like from when I was a yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah. Like how, how, how did you get your aspiration and, and um, what kind of work did you have to do to get to this point? I just always wanted to be a model since I can right. like remember. I always saw the magazines and all the big names and everything. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. Oh wow! And I've always been. I've been tall since I was like a freshman in high school. So oh wow! How tall are you? I'm almost five ten. You stand up. I have heels on right now, but you won't be able to see me. She is tall. I'm like two inch heels on also, so I'm like six foot now. <laughs> oh, all right. So if anybody's looking for a six foot model. Yes. <laughs> Talk to Nicole, yeah. <laughs> um, so, how long have you been in Boston? Uh, about two and a half, three weeks now. Oh, wow. How do you like the city? I love it. Oh, yeah. Love it, love it. Where Where did you live before you moved to Boston? Um, I did most of my growing up around Detroit, Michigan. And then I moved to uh, Fort Myers, Florida for a year and a half, or almost two years. And then now I'm here. I like to go across the country every couple oh, of years. Okay. Just for fun. It's like a hobby. Yeah, just a hobby. <laughs> just pick up and go. <laughs> Live your life. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. I've always wanted to do that before my car breaks down. <laughs> I don't have a car. Uh, oh, That's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, wow. How did you get it? Uh, I flew. Oh, all right. Okay. I guess in. that works too. <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, how, which cities have you been to before Boston? Um, like as far as living or just... We're living. Uh, I moved a lot in Michigan too. I lived in uh, Royal Oak, Waterford, Farmington Hills. Wow. Um, where else did I live? Some other places too. And then I lived in Fort Myers, and then now I live right outside of Boston, Everett. Oh, all right. So okay. Basically, Boston. I guess you can see we can see the city from our place. My oh, everywhere. oh, nice. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful place out there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so how come Boston of all the places you can choose? Um, because my boyfriend's job. And oh, okay. There's good opportunities for me here too. Oh, all right, okay. Like, I've made a lot of leeway in the past few weeks. Just oh, yeah? Just being here. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, there's a lot more opportunities as far as, like, the agencies and everything. Oh, yeah? Because there's not much in Fort Myers. Probably a city you've never heard of in Florida. <laughs> no, I've, I've heard of it before. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm surprised. It's a little city, and there's things here and there, but it's nothing like, nothing like Boston. Like, right. I had my car broke down there, so I didn't have any way to get around. Oh. To where here, you have the yeah, transit system. True. So it makes life so much easier and so much more cost efficient with gas. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And because even if you get to a certain place, it's, it's just an audition. You don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't know. You're not yeah. guaranteed the money. Right. Not guaranteed the gig. Yeah. So you could spend a few hundred bucks on gas before yeah. you can get you know a gig, right? Especially in Florida, because most of them were like in Miami, which is the other side of the state where I lived. All right. So it was like a two and a half, three hour drive. All right. One way. Wow. And then if you don't book it, that's a lot of time and money wasted. Wow. Is there is there a lot of um, casting calls and things happening in Florida? Not where I live. That's why All I had right. to go to Miami and stuff. All right. And there's a lot of competition there. A lot more. In Miami? Yeah, in my opinion. All right. Well, I guess <laughs> so too, right? Yeah. It's, a lot it's, more bathing suit girls. Yeah. And yeah. And not that the girls in Boston aren't pretty. I'm <laughs> 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 giving the wrong way. <laughs> It's just a this different type of model. Yeah, yeah, I guess well, that's what I'm <laughs> yeah. thinking, right? Like, yeah. I guess over there is more like physical, yeah. like athletic kind, kind of approach to beauty. Yeah. Over here is more like bring you a little personality, yeah. um, acting kind, kind of thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you could move to anywhere in the United States, where would you like to go? Next. I want to go to the other coast. I actually want to move to like, California and stuff like that. Oh, all right. Try my wings over there if it makes me... Get that way, or Vegas, or something. Vegas is nice. Mm -hmm. There's a lot happening there. I'll give myself two, three years, and I'll move again. Oh, <laughs> all right, bored. okay. <laughs> well, you know, if you're a Boston agent, <laughs> yeah. for now, before she <laughs> she move, right? Exactly. <laughs> now. <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> Take action now. <laughs> call this 1-800 number. <laughs> Isn't there a call in here? <laughs> yeah, it's <is> ringing. <laughs> Don't mean my baby. <laughs> Um, so, so what would you like to work on today? Being able to stay skinny and like not eat junk food. I eat a lot of junk just skinny. food. I mean, yeah, there's I'm going against girls who are skinnier, prettier, taller every day. So I have to keep up with them. I mean, any girl who's a model for like a, like like I want to I'm be doing cars and motorcycles and stuff like that in trade shows. Right. So I'm wearing not a lot of clothes. <laughs> And if I'm in competition with those other girls, I need to have an awesome body as well. Right. And I'm a junk food junkie. I will eat donuts and ice cream all the time. All right. Today I had a donut for dinner. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's American dream. Yes. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm not naturally skinny. <laughs> oh, no. You look, you look pretty healthy to me. Um, well, I guess the question is, the. For the people whom you think are skinnier, prettier, um, do you think they also see other girls as skinnier and prettier as well? Right? Oh, I'm sure. We're right. always, I mean, everyday girls right. judge each other. But then when you're going against the best of the best in, my, in like any, right. any genre, of course, everybody's going to think that girl's better. You just got to be able to top them with something else. What, if that what do sense. you think your competitive advantage is? Well, um, I'm a natural blonde, and I'm tall. Okay. So am I, but I thought I didn't. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. It looks pretty really natural, right? You should let it go back. Yeah, I should let it go back. <laughs> Natural's the thing, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else do you think is your competitive advantage? Um, I'm pretty, I like to consider myself pretty easygoing and okay. chill. I mean, okay. I try not to be too high strung. Do you think... Um, it is weighing on you that this competitiveness is is putting more than necessary pressure on, on your health. Well, I'm sure it is. Okay. I'm sure I'm more stressed than I should be about like what I eat and what I don't eat. And okay. What I do and what I don't do than the quote unquote normal person. Like right. every time I put the donut in my mouth, I'm having like a battle. Like right. don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. I have to like put pictures up, I should put pictures up around the house again. I don't know, that's probably not healthy, but. <laughs> right. But that's why I want to get hypnotized so I can be healthy. <laughs> Do you think, um, well, the thing is, sometimes when people are trying to, to push something away from them, they end up being closer to them, right? That makes sense. Right. Um, do you think this started, um, from a positive and wanting to be healthy kind of mindset, or does this uh, issue comes from um, feeling the next girl is skinnier than you and prettier than you? A um, little bit of A, a little bit of B. So I know I could be healthier. Like as far as right. just like work, like I could go to the gym and more, and I could run and do the sit-ups, right, and everything like that. And I know I should, I did up until I moved here, right. But now it's more since I don't have the time, or because I work full time also on top of everything, right. I don't have the time to go to the gym right now. So I have to eat healthier. I can't okay. eat my donuts right now because I'm not going to work out those calories. Okay. So what is stopping you from eating healthy today? Taste. <laughs> okay. A lot of it has to do with taste. I just um, I really like the taste of junk food. I really like the taste of a Whopper <laughs> okay. versus like grilled chicken or something you know healthier. I'd rather eat McDonald's or Burger King or whatever. What is it about that? I just like honestly, that's just how it tastes and it. This makes me, makes me feel good. The fact that I can eat something that tastes good. I Ideally, hope. what what would what would you like to uh, eat? I'd like to be able to like eat salads on a normal basis. Okay. And be able to walk into like. And how do they taste to you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they don't taste bad, but like, what it, like all the fast food joints now have like the healthier options. Okay. I, I won't choose those. <laughs> or like when I'm cooking at home. 
I'll like take the chicken and I'll bake it and do good stuff to it, but then I'll smother it in cheese. All right. And I need to be able to stop that. And I know I should, but I don't. Okay. Like I know what I should do, but I can't get past that. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Um, I just can't help but to feel that um, well, I don't want to put like words in your mouth or, or foreign ideas in your mind, right? But you feel that a lot, you feel that there's a lot of emotion locked on to eating. Um, I wouldn't say emotion, uh, a little bit, because my family is a big, bigger family. Okay. Like, I'm probably the skinniest one, because I relate food with hanging out, with talking with my, going to my parents' house. Okay. It's food. Going to see my brother, it's food. We go and eat, and eat, and eat, and eat. I'm trying to break that. Okay. Trying to realize I don't have to do, just because I'm going out doesn't mean I have to eat. Right. Doesn't mean I have to stuff my face to the brim. Okay. Um. It's just what I've been taught my whole life. All right, so when was the last time um, you ate something that you don't really want to eat? For dinner. <laughs> okay, donut, right? yep. okay, so so when you eat the donut, uh, what kind of feelings go through your mind and body, like physical mm -hmm. sensations? Just the fact that I can't, I shouldn't be doing it. I shouldn't eat this. Okay, I but that's that's more like a real. way of thinking, right? Okay. Like how, how how does it make you feel when you eat the donut? Um, I don't know. Like makes me feel like full. <laughs> Say again? Like full. Okay. Like, like I should be full. Alright. Um, what kind of uh, thoughts go through your mind? Um, it's like the battle inside my head like, oh you don't need it, you don't need it, you can go home and make real food okay. and actually feel full instead of just eating this donut and knowing that that's like, you know, 800 calories or whatever of fried dough that you don't need. <laughs> um, and what what kind, what do you do um, when you try to avoid eating that? I don't. <laughs> That's a problem. I'll eat it. Because <laughs> right. I will, I do make the bad choice. Let's see, what did I do? Like Friday. Was it Friday? Yeah, I had like ice cream. I had two things of ice cream. Like a McFlurry thing, right. and then like an ice cream at the daycare center with the kids. Okay. And I had pizza, and I had what else did I eat that day? Something else awful. I think I had a burger and. Right. I don't just eat like one donut. I'm not like anorexic. <laughs> I eat like a lot of junk food all day. <laughs> um. So, ideally, let's picture yourself um, completely healthy and eating the kind of food that that you you feel that is best for your body. Um, what kind of thoughts would go through your mind? I probably, I would, I'm sure I would feel better. Like, I'd have more energy. I'm sure I would. I'd be able to actually, like, work eight, nine hours and then go to the modeling gigs or whatever and not feel exhausted after, like, a two-hour, three-hour photo shoot or whatever it happened to be. And I'd be able to not be able, I'd be able to go to bed at a decent hour, like 11 o'clock or whatever. I would be up right. to like 2 or 3 in the morning because I've had so much caffeine and sugar. Right. Um, but what kind of thoughts would you would you be having when you eat like a salad or something? Right now? Yeah. That I'm actually doing good. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm, I'm actually am proud of myself when I do it. It just doesn't happen very often. All right. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is hypnosis. I don't know if anybody told you <laughs> <laughs> this is the show. <laughs> um, so um, hypnosis is not sleep. Okay. Um, at no point would you feel unconscious. Okay. Um, it is not a knockout kind of feel. Okay. You can still hear the sounds around you. You'll still be fully aware of what's happening. Okay. You'll just be uh, more focused on the sound of my voice and more focused on what's happening inside um, your mind. Okay. Um, and, but 
it's just like sleep. When you try to fall asleep, the harder you try, the harder it is to fall asleep, right? Mm -hmm. So don't try to go into hypnosis. Just okay. follow my instructions. Okay. Um, if you try to go into hypnosis, chances is that you know you spend too much conscious attention on it, and you know it, it may not go as well as as we would hope for. Okay. And uh, I'll do everything. Um, I can to make sure this is a positive and beneficial experience for you. Okay. And in return, I would like your cooperation. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So just uh, I cross your legs with the feet flat on the floor. Okay. Um, just open your arms like this. That's right. I just want you to push onto my palm as lightly as possible. That's right. Push it. When your palm touches the knee, I would like you to close your eyes and just let yourself go. Alright? Lighter. Lighter. deeper and deeper down. More and more. It's okay. It's sort of straight. Let's let this up go. And as I count backwards from 10 to 1, with each number I count, you find yourself sinking deeper and deeper into trance, deeper and deeper into the chair feeling as if you're sinking through the chair, all the way down to the floor. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. and deeper, more and more comfortable, and so warm, so good, so relaxed. When it counts from one to three, when I reach the number three, you'll open your eyes, coming back to this room. As soon as I say the word sleep, you'll find yourself drifting ten times deeper into hypnosis. And each time you hear me say the word sleep, you find yourself drifting ten times deeper into hypnosis. And each time you drift deeper into hypnosis, you feel twice as relaxed, twice as comfortable, twice as good. One, two, three, open your eyes. How are you doing? Look up here. Close your eyes. That's right. Deeper and deeper down, more and more relaxed. One, two, three, open your eyes. Look up here, sleep. Deeper and deeper down, more and more relaxed. Set yourself go completely. Deeper and deeper down, more and more relaxed. Set yourself go and sleep. So good, so calm, so comfortable. I see that straight. straight. Count of one to three. When I reach the number three, once again, open your eyes. One, two, three, eyes open. What's your name again? Nicole. Thanks for coming. Sleep. All the way down. Still let yourself go. Deeper and deeper down. So good, so calm. So comfortable. Sit up straight. That's right. Take a deep breath in. Deeper and deeper. 
let the sound of my voice and the thrill of years into your mind, feeling so safe, so comfortable, so relaxed. With every word that enters your mind, you feel twice as comfortable, twice as safe, twice as relaxed. That's right. And you're deeply, deeply hypnotized. Each word that I say will ingrain deeply into your unconscious mind. Each word that I say will ingrain deeper into the part of your mind where you believe everything is absolute truth. Because you know the word that enters your mind right now is for your own good and all your positive and personal growth. From now on, you'll find yourself less and less needing the approval of others, less and less feeling the stress and pressure when compared to other girls. From now on, you'll find a sense of well-being and self-assurance when you're in a modeling agency and you see other girls that might be bigger than you or prettier than you that would not give you any pressure, you'll find it very easy to appreciate them and appreciate yourself. You can find yourself comparing to them in a very positive manner. From now on, you'll find yourself <coughs> wanting to eat healthier food. You'll no longer have any cravings for McDonald's or Burger King. Those kind of food no longer give you any pleasure. What gives you pleasure is when you eat salad, because your, the vegetable that you eat and the healthy food that you eat, you feel alive and energized. You feel this energy flowing through your mind and your body when you eat healthy. And when you feel healthy, you'll find yourself a lot stress-free, a lot happier, and a lot self-assured with a lot of more self-confidence. Each and every day, you find yourself feeling healthier and healthier and healthier. That's right. Each and every day, and in every way, you find yourself <coughs> becoming happier, the nerve becoming steadier, you become more and more confident. And in your modeling career, you find yourself having this absolute overwhelming magnetism flowing through the mind through the body. You find yourself becoming more hypnotic. You find yourself happier and draw all the positive attention to your mind, into your eyes, and into your senses. In fact, you find that your arms and legs becoming more and more hypnotic and magnetic. You find your cheek, your smile, your lips becoming magnetic and hypnotic. You find your entire body wanting to become a more and more healthier, more and more positive. And each and every day, you find your body becoming leaner, healthier, and with releasing all the negative emotions that may be holding the back. When you come back to this room, you'll feel absolutely confident in your ability to model, in your intellect, and in your mind. And throughout the mind and throughout the body, you find this new sense of self-assurance, self-awareness, and self-confidence building you into a confident, magnetic, hypnotic person. When you come back to this room, you feel so confident that as if you are the hypnotist here. You feel so confident that in your ability to eat healthy and be healthy, and you feel so confident that you can be the hypnotist. And whenever you feel that you're about to eat unhealthy food, you just be the hypnotist to yourself and avoid eating bad food and start eating healthy food. I'm going to start counting from 1 to 10. When I reach number 10, 
and come back to this room feeling happy, full of life, full of energy. That's what kind of break I can lift it from your shoulders. As I count from one to ten, with each count, you feel more and more energized, happier and happier, with a big smile on your face. With each number I count, the smile becomes bigger, wider, and happier. One, two, three, four. Take a deep breath in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whenever you're ready to come back to this room, ten. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. That was weird. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we'll talk a little bit more uh, about this in the hallway, all right? Uh, this is Hypnotist Bernie's exposition. Join us again next week.